So first up, this is the standard blowgun that you can buy from Cold Steel. Now it did come in a black paint finish, but I scuffed that off so that I can repaint it with this orange right here. I feel like that'll be a lot, I don't know, it'll look slick. I like the color orange. And I always have this problem of setting stuff down, not being able to find it. So I figure if I'm out blowgun fishing and I do set it down, I'll be more likely to find it when I'm using. And that's not the only reason I'm using this. It's the two time whatever, so it's got primer and paint in it. So then I don't have to buy a can of primer and all that. So a couple coats of that, and it should make this real pretty. And this model does come with the mouthpiece right there. So yeah, that's pretty standard I guess for blowguns. I do have the hunting Tim Wells one as well, but I wanted one separate apart from that that I could use for just fishing. Now here, right here we got a reel that I ordered on Amazon. I haven't checked it out yet. So we got in here. And so I went with the color orange and black for a reel just so it would match uh, my blowgun. The orange might be a little different, but that shouldn't be too bad. And this right here, this might have been 10 bucks on Amazon. Even if you go to Walmart, the only ones that are 10 bucks are the push button ones. And when I had this set up in the past for blowgun fishing, I had some issues with the push buttons. You know, sometimes it gets stuck and all that. But I, the reason I went with the push buttons because I felt like it'd be simpler as far as, you know, push it and it's ready to go. But really, I mean, just flipping that over and it should be fine. I will have to get some... Uh, line for this. I'm not sure how heavy I want to go yet, so that's for a later day once this thing's all done. Then here, let's see what we got in there. It should be, yeah, so in here I have a pack of fishing eyes, a bunch of different sizes. I'm not exactly sure what ones I'll want. So if you went and bought the actual fishing blowgun pole, whatever, it uh, comes with really big eyes, you know. But I mean, I got a different bunch of different sizes and I like the ones for blowgunning that have tabs on both sides just so you can get a good grip on them. I feel like that's better. I mean, you can buy a kit that has like, this is the top part of the reel right there, but you can buy a kit that has just those, but I feel like these are a little bit stronger. I'm not. I'm not sure. I feel like the bigger ones would be better. These are pretty sturdy. I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, these will work good. I don't know. What, I don't know. That's that's for when we get there. But so I've got the fishing eyes, blowgun, paint, and a reel. And when I had one of these in the past, I just I taped and zip tied the eyes on but today I'm gonna actually you know try to glue them on to just get them stuck and then my plan is to actually wrap them in line like you would a fishing pole so that they're a little bit stronger but first things first I'm gonna take my blowgun get a couple good coats of paint on it and then we'll go from there so what you're gonna want to do is find a place that you can hang the blowgun on so you can paint it without it touching anything and it can hang so I'm going to be using this fish rack that I built. It's for after we go bow fishing and you want some cool pictures with carp. So I made that for. But here's the push button reel that I was using. And this is what I meant by I had problems before when I was using it. Not too good, but I'm going to use some of the line from this. If I can get enough of it untangled, which I should be able to. And then I'm going to cut a piece to length or a little, probably about twice as long as the blowgun so I can tie it together then hang it from here and you know the deal, paint it. And while I'm painting this, I'm not going to have that on there. I wonder if this will feed all the way through. Maybe I should tie a weight. No, it should be fine. Either way, so I'm just going to fish this line down through this. Hopefully it comes out the other side. Yeah, I got plenty of line here. I got a lot, lot, lot. You can see right there. There it is. We got it coming out the other side. Pull that through. And then, kind of like a big hanger is what you'll have here. I've got way, 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 way too much here going on. Way too much line here. So, just gonna cut some of this 
extra off. I'm not a knot tying pro, so I'm just kind of looping it and looping it until you got that. It's almost like a bow. So there you can see the idea of it, running it through so you can paint without having to hold on to it and now you can get a nice even coat all the way around. Here we go, the two time Rust-Oleum gloss orange paint. Gotta shake this guy up. All right, so I got it all shook up, and before you want, you paint, you want to sand it down pretty good, or at least scuff it up pretty good, because you need something for the paint to bite onto. So if you just take it, you don't sand off the original color, there's a good chance it's going to chip off more easily, and you don't really want that. So like I said, sand it, scuff it up, and then paint it. But here we go. First coat of paint, I'm going to go real light on it. So here we go, right here, that's coat number one. I'm probably gonna repeat this process two to three more times depending on how it looks, but I mean, like I said, you can still see through it a little bit and that's because I went super, super light on this first coat because I didn't want to have any drips or anything like that. So the next step after I get a couple more coats of paint on this is we're gonna be putting on the eyes and reel. All right guys, so I finally got it fully painted. As you can see, I think I have four coats on it right now, and that did really good. I'm really loving this orange color. But now we're going to move on to the accessories part of it. You guys go right here. So we got the eyes, the reel. And so I've got to mark out on here where I want everything. And I'm not exactly sure how many eyes I want yet. I don't know what will look good. So I'm going to do a little bit more looking on that. The first time that I did one of these, I used just like black electrical tape and zip ties, but that didn't hold up too good. So this time what we're going to be using is super glue and, and this line right here. We're going to tie it like a regular fishing pole eye, and I feel like this should hold up really good. It shouldn't move on me. So yeah, that's kind of the idea of it, and we're going to jump into that right now. We're getting this super glue opened right now. Got that ready to go. Then we got our line right here. Hopefully this turns out good. So I'm not sure exactly how big of eyes I want to use. Like do I go with the biggest one so that it flows a little easier maybe? Or does that even matter? Because it's going to shoot out either way. Anything I've seen use is the biggest eyes, so I feel like I should probably just go with that. And do I do two or three? No, that's the next question. What do we got here? I mean, they'd probably be okay. Two or three? Two or three? I think three would probably look better. It's going to be more work, but... I'm going to go with three. I'm probably going to regret that in a couple minutes, but I'm going to go with three. So, here we go. We're going to start by putting the first big eye on. And, yeah. I'm just going to give it a little dab. At first. It's hot. I don't like that that's... These eyes have holes in them, like where the, f I guess you'd call them like the feet, where they rest. I'm not a huge fan of that, but. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold that, apply pressure, watch walker, chase a chicken. Yeah, so we got one on. And like I said, I'm going to do t three. I'm going to end up doing three, even though I know I'm going to regret that. But, I mean, I might as well do it the way that I want to the first time around. And then know that it's the way that I wanted it. Alright guys, so I got all three on. And something I was not thinking about is how strong this stuff is going to be. Not as so much as holding power, but like chemically. And... It started to take a little bit of the paint off right there, but luckily I'm going to wrap over those anyways, so it should not be a huge deal.
All right, you guys. There's the first one done. Now I have one and then two. I would recommend doing eyes like one at a time. So tie one on, do another one, then do another one. Because when you're trying to twist it to get the line straightened on, it's a little hard and you end up bumping into things. And yeah, I almost feel like it'll be better because it'll be sticking exactly to the metal, which I wasn't thinking about when I painted it. But yeah, turned out pretty good. Got two more of these to do. And then we'll be moving on to the reel. All three eyes have been put on. That took a very, very, very long time. But I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it once I get the reel strapped on back here. I think it'll be stronger. And I think it'll hold up a lot better. And I also went back on the strings with some extra glue just to make sure that it's set really strong. And I mean, they're on there pretty tight right now. So I think we should be good. Make sure everything's on there tight. Now I'm gonna put the reel on, and it's gonna be. I'm gonna try doing the same thing. Load it up with uh, glue. I actually might scrape off some of the paint where it's gonna go, just so it has a little something more to bite onto. I think, because so, the paint's gonna peel off either way. So that's the plan for right now. Here we go, guys. Finished product or. Almost finished. I still got to add the line here, but that's what we're working with. I am exhausted from that. That took forever, but I do think in the end it's going to be worth it. But I like that. And this reel, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Hopefully, it wasn't too cheap and it'll actually hold up. It seems good. It flows good. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, guys. All that's left to do now is. Walker! Walker! So all that's left to do now is string on some line, put on some darts, and then give this thing a try. Alright guys, so it's finally time to test out the blowgun DIY. All I've got on there are the normal uh, hunting blowgun darts. I haven't bought in any of the actual fishing darts yet, but that's on my list, so... First off, we'll give this a try. If we have any luck with that, I'll for sure get the darts, but right now I think we're gonna mainly target frogs. I doubt we'll have much luck on uh, fish, but as far as frogs, I think we'll be able to find some and then hopefully be able to cook them up. You guys stay tuned. These cattails are a pain to like look through because by the time I get up to them, it's so thick it's not even near the water. So I'm gonna have to do some trimming up here if I wanna do any frog hunting, that's for sure. No luck so far, but I keep hearing them croak. They're just a little bit too far in there. I might have to bring my boat up or something eventually. So we didn't have any luck during the daytime when we first tried this, so we're gonna come out here at night. As you can see, Walker and I, we're just waiting for it to get dark at the moment. And then hopefully with some lights, you know, we have a little bit better luck. Because earlier when I tried doing this video, like a couple days ago, I mean, we were hearing them rib it, you know, they're here. We just couldn't find them because this stuff is so thick along the side. So I'm hoping that maybe with some lights, they'll be a little bit calmer, sit still. And hopefully we can find some big frogs. It's looking pretty good. The weather's pretty nice right now. Shouldn't have any rain. We should make out pretty good. Hopefully we can put the blowgun to the test and make sure that it actually works, but I think we should so you guys stay tuned And we'll see if we can get some frogs oh Alright guys, so I just found one He's like tucked right here somewhere If Walker would be quiet, that'd be awesome I don't think he will See if I can get this on camera for you guys Alright, so he's sitting right there. I'm gonna try to shoot him. See if I can do this one handed. I think I stuck him. Yes, I got him. I got him. I got him. The dark cap like popped off. I got him. I got him. Yes. Yes, I got him. I've been walking around here for so long. So it worked. The only issue is it went right through him. 
for now he's like stuck here. There he is right there. Okay, I got him. I got him. Yes. Oh my gosh, I finally got one. That took forever. See if I can get him pried out. See, I'll find my cap. Okay, I see it. It's right there. I gotta grab that. You're good to go. All right. <laughs> so a blowgun did. Walker, will you stop? He's a little bloody. I'll, I gotta get him cleaned off. But we ended up getting a frog. Finally. Oh my gosh. He's not like a giant one, but. Are you okay? Are you fine? But well, I was. I was not passing this guy up. I mean, this worked great. Took forever to find him. He was croaking out into these weeds back here. And like I was looking completely over top of him, dude. Yes, it's a frog. It's a frog, yes. It's a frog. Are you okay? Yes, okay. So I might see if I can get I might see if I can get one or two more. But either way, it was successful. I'm happy about that. So now we have def we, so now we definitely have something to fry up tomorrow. got the frog fried up it looks pretty good I tried something a little different I've seen where they use mustard as the uh, almost in place of like the batter or like what you would use to like stick your dry stuff to like on crappy and stuff like that so I figured why not try it on a frog leg and since I only have one it's not really gonna go to waste by using by using it on a bunch of uh, frogs so we're gonna give it a try I did sprinkle a little bit of salt on there at the end so hopefully it ends up pretty good it looks good. It coated pretty good. If y'all can see that. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna go for the calf first. That tastes like almost exactly like a McDonald's fry. I'm not even gonna lie. That's that's good. I haven't had these since my friend and I. We were really young shooting these and then cooking them. But no, that's really really good. I wish I could have got a couple more. I mean, that's the way I just did that tastes exactly like a McDonald's fry. Kind of looks like the same color, too. So as you guys saw, the blowgun was a success. You know, after painting it and doing all that, it still worked and did blowgun things. So it still worked how it was supposed to. I've never used the actual store-bought one, so I don't know how that compares to it. But I'll say that this one did its job. The next test will be on fish for sure, and I already ordered some darts. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to subscribe. You'll be able to see it in one of these next couple videos coming out. This is going to be the end of today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! That's a nice one. Double? That's a big one.